Hey everybody, King Corfish here. Happy Easter! Look, it's a bunny! Whoa! Usually for my family around this year, I search my house for Easter eggs and eat a lot of Cadbury eggs. I still do it, even though I'm 15 years old. And this year, I've decided to make an Easter video. But there are no Easter video games, so we're going to be playing Who Framed Roger Rabbit for the NES. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a movie made back in 1988. It was based off an already existing book titled Who Censored Roger Rabbit. Since this movie was made back in 1988 and I was born 11 years later, I definitely did not watch it during its lifespan. However, I did watch the movie once or twice when I was little, and I'm gonna be quite honest, this rabbit gave me nightmares. And it still kind of does. The title screen of this game consists of the main character, Eddie Valent, and a rabbit. Surprise, surprise, his name is Roger. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. This game was developed by Rare? Like, THE Rare? The company that brought us Donkey Kong Country, Banjo-Kazooie, and Diddy Kong Racing? Oh man, those were such great games. But those days are long gone. Ha! Never mind. I've never played this game, I'm stuck on World 1 of this game, and I've never even played this game. I know I haven't even started playing this game yet, but I already have a complaint. You hit start game and it just sends you into the action with no explanation. Luckily, thanks to the magical people from Wikipedia, this is what I've put together. You're Eddie and you need to go around Hollywood and collect different types of clues to figure out who framed Roger Rabbit, as the title of the game suggests. You enter apartment buildings, hotels, and number 13s. Makes total sense. Also, for some reason, Eddie has a life counter of one. If you get hit by anything at all, you die. Done. That's it. Which means you need to be as cautious as possible anywhere you go. And it's obnoxious. Sounds pretty bad, right? Well, it gets worse. You also lose a life if you get separated from Roger. Oh yeah, did I mention that Roger follows you wherever you go? Think of it like Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but a lot less cool. Seriously, someone needs to give this rabbit a chill pill. Look at this! So you go around from building to building asking people to help you look for clues. Their answers, though, aren't the brightest. Can you help me? Yes, this building is empty. Well, thanks for the help. Can you help me? Yes, try searching this building. Can you help me? Search the drawers in the buildings. I'm pretty sure this is borderline breaking and entering. Along with asking people for things, you can also punch people. Not only can you punch Roger, you can also punch random civilians. If you try to talk to them after you punch them, they don't give you the nicest answers. No, buzz off. Eddie can also punch random ladies. Go away, you horrid man! <gasps> How'd this game know how all my first dates end? I really like Eddie's fighting style. So what you're supposed to do is take all of the clues from all the people in the buildings and try to find random objects that will totally help you solve the case of who framed Roger Rabbit. I literally searched all of these buildings for half an hour straight and found nothing. Oh look! A rattle! That's so helpful! When you find objects, you gain points for a score, for some reason. Oh no! A cave! Whoops. I'm dead. The game literally has a pitch black floor right here. The logical thing to do is to move to the right and explore the cave, right? Well, apparently not. You fall straight through the ground. Dead. Periodically, you'll run into random... these things that capture Roger. They ask you a random question and you're supposed to answer it. And if you get it wrong, or don't answer it in time, you lose a life. I literally could not figure out what button to push in this segment and lost a life every single time. Oh no, game over! 
Looks like I can't play anymore. Sorry, Roger. Looks like I couldn't figure out who framed you after all. You are going to jail! I swear to God, my rabbit's name is not Roger. Hey everybody, King Corvish here. I just want to take this quick moment to say thanks for watching this video. My last video is right here about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It was an April Fool's thing. First person shooters suck. Also, if you want to, you can subscribe because that would make me so happy and it would make me even happier if you followed me on Twitch and Twitter. And yeah. With all that being said, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.